subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Irrespective of which part of the world we grew up in or what language we learned to speak as adults, as babies we have a universal language referred to as babbling. Babbling is basically a human baby's vocal interactions in the earliest months of their lives. Baby babble boils down to simple string of syllables punctuated by occasional gurgles. Adorable as it looks on social media, these nonsensical babble actually paves the way for speech development in later life. Now, a study published in the journal Science reveals that baby bats also babble. The discovery opens up a whole new field of research in neuroscience of how mammals learn to communicate with one another. In this episode, I bring you the details of the study and also explain why researchers are so interested in studying sounds that baby bats make. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. Speech, the vocal output of language, requires precise control over our vocal articulators, which include the tongue, the lips and the jaw. Every infant faces the challenge of gaining precise control over the vocal articulators to produce speech sounds. This control is gained during babbling when infants start to produce first utterances resembling speech sounds. Previous research has shown that babbling allows babies to practice saying the syllable that they later use to imitate speech in adult life. But scientists wanted to understand if other animals also use vocal imitation. A lot of what we know about human communication and language development is understood through comparative research on vocal processes in early stages of non-human animals, especially those capable of vocal imitation. Vocal imitation or our ability to repeat the same sounds that another individual makes is one of the key components of human language. Babbling behavior is rare in the animal kingdom. So far, this phenomenon has been described almost exclusively in songbirds. While research on songbirds has provided us with important insights about speech development in human children, it is difficult to fully translate the results to humans because songbirds and humans differ anatomically. Birds have an organ called syrinx located at the base of the windpipe where the trachea divides into the bronchi, the two tubes that connect to the lungs. Songbirds are able to control the right and left halves of the syrinx separately, thus singing with two independent voices. On the other hand, humans have the larynx, an organ located in the top of the neck which houses our vocal cords. The brain of birds and humans are also organized differently. However, there is one mammal which surprisingly engages in vocal practice behavior during their early years which strongly resembles human infant babbling. The greater sac-winged bat or Sacoteryx bilianata at first sight holds very little resemblance to humans. So it may seem to be a rather unusual candidate for comparative research on vocal development. However, a team of scientists from Berlin Museum of Natural History realized that pups of this bat species has something in common with human babies. Mirham Norschild, one of the co-authors of the study, had accidentally discovered the bat's babbling behavior more than 17 years ago while working on her master's degree thesis. To her, the baby bat sounds immediately made her think of human babies. Although she and her colleagues first reported their findings in 2006, some scientists were skeptical that the sounds represented true babbling. For their latest study, the team presented the recordings of 20 pups in their natural habitat in Panama and Costa Rica. Collecting vocal data from bats is no easy feat because human ears are not meant to detect bat calls. Bats make sounds in frequencies that are well beyond our scope of hearing. 
So the team had to spend long days in the rainforests of Costa Rica and Panama sitting with laptops that would show visual representations of the sounds in real time. The team was able to record sounds from 20 bad pups from 8 different colonies for weeks on end. In fact, the amount of recordings that the researchers now have will become a database that can be used for machine learning purposes in the future. To collect data, the bats also had to get used to the presence of the researchers in close vicinity of their roosts. The patience of the team paid off, allowing daily sound recordings and accompanying video recordings from birth until weaning, that is the time that the mothers stop nursing their pups. By doing this, instead of getting bats into the laboratory, the scientists were able to observe and record a complex behavior in a completely natural and undisturbed setting. The team found that the pups spend on an average seven weeks engaging in daily babbling behavior. Pup babbling involves long vocal sequences containing multiple syllables. Each vocal sequence includes different types of syllables of the adult vocal repertoire. The researchers say that pup babbling can be easily discerned as a distinct vocal behavior. It is audible at a considerable distance from the roost. Babbling bouts have a duration of up to 43 minutes. While babbling, pups learn the song of the adult males. After the researchers came back with the trove of babbling recording to Germany, these recordings were analyzed to investigate the characteristics of pup babbling. The researchers found that pup babbling is characterized by the same eight features as human infant babbling. So for example, pup babbling is characterized by repeated duplication of syllables just like a human baby would repeat a syllable like da, pa or ka. I'm just going to leave a short video of an adorable baby babbling here just so you know what I'm talking about. Now coming back to baby bats. The researchers found that the pup babbling is rhythmic and occurs in both male and female pups which stands in strong contrast to songbirds where only young males babble. Remember that while language defines human nature, vocalization for bats have a very important function that is hunting for prey using echolocation. Bats navigate and find insect prey by producing sound waves that humans cannot hear. These sound waves bounce off objects in the environment and return to the bat's ears, enabling them to create a mental map of their environment. This particular study contributes to the interdisciplinary field of biolinguistics, focusing on biological foundations of human language to study its evolution. According to the researchers, work on vocal learning and babbling bat species may ultimately give us another piece of puzzle to better understand how human language evolved over millions of years. This is Mohana Bas, special correspondent at The Print. If you like our videos, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box.